The Augusta Nationals was started in 1932 back in December. I would like to know your opinion on women and the Augusta Nationals. Mm, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, as far as it just being a club, it's, it's a man's club. Finally, in 1990, that was when golf got some color. However, women were still not able to play. With the tradition base, it's like if that lady is starting to go there and take up the position of working there, but now you have a woman president or whatever she is, it's like she knew that before she took the job. You know, she knows she knows that she's taking that that role in that place, that establishment that has that tradition. So. So are you saying she should not be granted membership because no, she knew? Yeah, yeah, she shouldn't be granted. Until a lady on the National Council of the Women's Organization wrote this man, Hootie Johnson, a letter. The lady that wrote the letter, her name was Martha Burke. I think they should do their own damn thing, start their own club. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, yeah, women's only golf club. club. Okay, because the women can be masters too, huh? <laughs> nah. Now the letter urged him to let us play. We want to play, let us play too. Let me tell you what the letter say. Hmm. He sealed it tight. I'll let you read it. But you're saying, you're just saying them to be able to play in it at, at like that, the Masters, just for the tournament, or are you just talking about being able to be members there? Be members. Oh, no, I think that they shouldn't be able to be members for sure. Okay, now all this happened back in 2002. Eventually, things died down. It wasn't on the surface again into a, a lady by the name of Virginia Rometty. An IBM executive, top IBM executive, became executive. Now you're probably thinking, so what does she got to do with the situation? Well, let me show you how she plays. Let me tell you how she plays a part. First of all, the Augusta traditions have many traditions. The Augusta Nationals have many traditions. One of their traditions is to be a male-only, men-only club. The other tradition is to provide grant membership to execs, top execs of IBM. Well, IBM only had male execs until she came. Well, Miss Virginia, honey, when she came through the door, they showed her no love at all. So on the final day of the Masters, guess what she did? She came in there wearing a pink jacket. Not a green jacket, but a pink jacket. They didn't even announce her as one of the newest members. Uh, how cruel is that? So finally, William Payne took over as new chairman in 2006. When William Payne took over, he considered two women to induct into the membership of the Augusta Nationals. Those women were Condoleezza Rice and Darla Moore. These two women never even knew they were even being considered. Darla Moore. Darla Moore is the highest paid woman in the banking industry. She donated over $75 million to two universities in South Carolina. She is the vice president of Rainwater, and she was also the first woman on the cover of Fortune magazine. Condoleezza Rice? If you can't tell by the name, she's a sister. Now Condoleezza, she is the first woman to be a Stanford Provost. Condoleezza was also the National Security Advisor under the Bush administration. She was Secretary of State and she is recently 
on the U.S. Golf Association nominating committee. This time, I'm glad that the, the good old boy system has um, kind of bunkered down and opened it up, and, and I'm pretty sure that uh, other uh, venues around the world will kind of use that and, and, and open it up. It's timely. And remember, in everything you do, smile.